So we said a few minutes ago that there's one set of rules for ionic compounds and a different set of rules for covalent compounds. The way you'll know if you have a covalent compound by looking at its name is that you'll see numerical prefixes. And when I say numerical prefixes, I mean things like this chart that you see right here. Mono, di, tri, right? Those prefixes represent some kind of number. Those prefixes will tell us how many of each part there is. Now we're not going to do anything with charges. Covalent compounds share their electrons. There aren't charges because there's no electron transfer going on. There aren't any ions in a covalent compound. Because of that, since there's no charges, how would you know how many of each part you would need? You need a prefix there to tell you. So this first example here, sulfur trichloride, that tri is what tells us it's a covalent compound, a numerical prefix. So when you see them, just use what the prefixes are to determine how many there are of each part. So that first one just says sulfur. It doesn't say disulfur, trisulfur, tetrasulfur, just sulfur. So you write down just sulfur and then tri chloride. Well, chloride sounds an awful lot like chlorine. Trichloride means three chlorides. That's it. We don't do anything with charges. A lot of people try to do charges with covalent compounds, but if we tried to, it really wouldn't make sense because if you tried to put sulfide, the ion form of sulfur, with chloride, the ion form of chlorine, you'd be putting a negative ion with another negative ion. Those two things would never make a compound together. They would repel one another. That's because they don't make an ionic compound. They make a covalent compound. Or this next example here. If you're looking at that thinking, what's denitrogen? Don't worry, it's just the way you've been taught how to read. But it means di, nitrogen, tetra, oxide. So di, nitrogen, two nitrogens, tetra, be careful with this one. A lot of people forget this prefix and think that it's quad. Okay, four is tetra. So tetraoxide, that sounds an awful lot like oxygen, and it wants four of them. Again, nothing with charges. Just listen to the prefixes and do whatever it says. 